What's your view and the view of your association of the uh, appropriate role of the church in politics in the United States? Extremely active, more active than we are. <laughs> I hope there will be more shouters, uh, preachers. The truth is that this is the only country maybe in the whole wide world that has a very uh, strong and an honest constitution. We're a country of laws. I feel very proud to be an American, even though I'm a Puerto Rican. Uh, the truth what do you is, mean even though you're a Puerto Rican? Because the truth <laughs> is that there are some other issues <laughs> that we will someday discuss. Okay. But the truth is that our constitution gives the opportunity to people of faith like myself to express their peace, to bring up their peace. And when you read the history of America, you will find that, that all the changes in our country, m mostly all of them, has happened in the same midst of the church. So why not? Why not having preachers talking and, in, and engaging and, and empowering the community to be more active? Do you see then the role to be closer to, for example, what the African-American clergy and Definitely. churches have been to the African-American community? They, they, have, they have been our best example. We are very proud of our fellow African-American preachers and Dr. Martin Luther King and, and many others who have truly done their best. And as Latinos, by the way, that's my call to the, to the pastors. We cannot let our African-American brothers and brethren or Anglo brethren do everything for us. We should also step up and, and put ourselves to work. In the uh, panoply of, of religion in American life as far as involvement in politics, for example, uh, one large movement is what's known as the Christian right. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's very much tied to the Republican Party, although not exclusively, but pretty much tied. Uh, do you see the role of your uh, involvement in politics coming from that direction? Uh, because many, many Latinos are socially conservative. That's mm -hmm. been shown repeatedly exactly. and That's culturally true. conservative. Mm -hmm. uh, do you see that the fundamentalist, the, the most fundamentalists of the Protestant variety mm -hmm. are to the right? What are the fundamentalists in your association politically? The Latin Evangelical Church is very conservative, definitely. But by the same token, it's conservative on the aspects of uh, right to life and on the aspects of uh, marriage. But it's also, by the same token, a very active and progressive in matters of housing, in matters of immigration, of health. Uh, I, in some of, of some of my uh, friends in D.C. were very surprised when they asked me, what's the position of the National Coalition of Latino Clergy with the public option uh, regarding health reform? In April 15, 2000, it's on record. We already, and it's, it's there in our website. We, in our first convention, decided that it was the right of every American worker to be or to have health uh, care, uh, either supply or, or purchased by the government or, or by, the, by, the pro, uh, by the business owner, by the patron, mm -hmm. or by the government. So that was our position back in 2000. So the truth is that that's exactly how many pastors believe, that we could be conservative on matters of uh, doctrinal issues, conservative fiscally issues, mm -hmm. but on matters of how to, to, to help empower the community, we, want, we are part of the community. We're not so, outside. And that was one of the mistakes of the, of the Anglo extreme right wing church, that they became so much entangled in their own uh, and center uh, foiled position that they couldn't understand that members of the communities are, are being heard and that's why then you start hearing about right wingers or left wingers which you, and, we don't And do you see those things. elements of Christianity as being uh, direct counterpoints to you or, or actually enemies politically speaking? No, I don't believe by any means, but definitely it has been some, some issues on, of concerns and, and, and we don't want to emulate or to do or make the same mistakes. Like in some, in some aspects, I truly believe that as a pastor, I have been called to preach the gospel. If I would like to run someday uh, for office, I believe that I should resign as a pastor and then run as an individual. Uh -huh. uh, and the, and, and if, and Is that going to happen someday? No, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Uh, I just thought we should be the first to know. <laughs> you know. But, but on the other hand, uh, the truth is that the church is there uh, to help the community to understand political empowerment, to understand platforms of every in a candidate, and, and yes, why not having the pastor es express what they believe or members of the church express what they believe, have public open forums inside the church, which was exactly how this nation was formed. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, yes, when we start uh, avoiding the, the, cons the, cons the concept of the church is an intrinsical part of the community, 
and we just step outside of the community and we get ourselves in the position of no we're just like the scolders or the or the uh, old you know the yeah. old right winger preachers mm -hmm. then definitely there's going to be enemies and adversaries and the national coalition latino clergy has been stayed away from from that position mm -hmm.